talking about dropping all these names that only only you would know if you knew about the music. And uh, he said, you remember what I asked you last time you were here? Of course I didn't. I, didn't I have all this to take care of. So I said, no, what was that? He goes, well, I've got these Count Macy charts. They're transcriptions of, from the Franklin Macy album. And, and they're Billy Byers arrangements. And I, and I said, if he knows all that, I'm going to take him up on this. He goes, and I want your school to have these arrangements. I think he wants me to copy them and give them back to put them up your <laughs> But anyway, he said, if you'll wait, I'll go to my room and I'll come back with these charts. So I waited. And he came right back with these magnificent transcriptions, some of which may be a little hard for the man right now to play, but this one you're about to hear is, is, um, is a chart we got from someone that just loved the band and thought enough of us that we would do this chart justice. So when we go back out there, I'm gonna make a huge deal about his <laughs> gift to us. And this is, um, I, you know, I told the students yesterday, we shouldn't tell the audience this, but I will. Um, I almost took this out of the program because all the mutes and the flute and all different things make it very difficult to play in tune. It's a very sensitive arrangement, a beautiful tune if you've heard Frank Sinatra sing this tune, you know what I'm talking about, but the tuning uh, is very difficult. So after a few little motivating words from their director and us checking out the tuning when you to put the mute in as opposed to when you have it out. It changes the tuning. And so we got some things together. You're going to hear the lead, and the beginning, you're going to hear the lead on a harmony, mute, trumpet, and flute. And the band has to balance and tune to that. So this is a challenge for them. But I, I think you'll enjoy it. It features Ethan LeBlanc, who does a beautiful job on the trumpet solo. So uh, we're going to give our best shot to the transcription of this love of mine.
watch because we we got time. <laughs> we're going to take the time. Anyway, before we play the last tune, I want to thank you again for, for coming out this evening to our concert. We always appreciate your patronage and, and, and your just being here. And uh, I hope someone will hear what I just said about the trip and help us out if you know someone because I think we're going to need some help somewhere to get this band back in New Orleans. So you can talk to me about it in private, or if you want to donate, uh, see Jane McKinney in the back after the concert. We're going to close the concert with uh, a tune on a Manteca, and Manteca was a Dizzy Gillespie tune. Most of you know Dizzy Gillespie is the trumpet player of Ch Cheeks Puff Out. You know, I asked the high schoolers if they knew who Dizzy Gillespie was and, I, and sadly, I didn't know one raised their hand, which is why my, one of my lifelong uh, goals is to try to keep this music going, and not only with these guys, but with everyone as much as I can. I want to do my part. So I said, well, how about that trumpet player that puffs the cheeks out? And then and several of them raised their hand. So I said, well, let me just say this. If that's all you know about Dizzy Gillespie, you need to know a few more things. Uh, first of all, he was at he and Charlie Parker and some others were the innovators of bebop jazz. And also, what a lot of folks don't realize is he was really big into Latin big band music. And this is his most famous composition. It's written for big band and uh, a great Dizzy Gillespie composition called Manteca. We've had a great time with this. We will, we just, it just gets rip roaring and we have a great time with it. So, Thank you again for coming out, and um, this is Man Take.